by Ian No is going to be played in standard tuning and then capoed on the first fret of the guitar. Uh, and it's a really approachable song for beginners because it is just four chords uh, that repeat the entire song. I'm just going to tell you the chords real quick and then I'll speak to some of the nuance and strumming pattern that happens in this song. Uh, the song actually begins on a G chord. So I guess technically there's five chords to know in the song, but it kind of begins on a strum down of a G chord, then it goes to an E minor, then it goes to a D, then it goes to an A minor, and then it walks up to a C chord. The second time through it goes E minor to a D, and then to a C chord, where it holds on the C before repeating that pattern uh, throughout the remainder of the song. So the strumming pattern... That strumming pattern more or less is what he's doing the entire time. There's maybe a little bit of shift uh, that happens to that randomly at points in the song, but it's basically a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, that feel. Um, all right, so the, the so the opening chord, that G chord, I've got my ring finger on the six string three fret, my second finger on the five string two fret, open four string, open three string, open two string, and pinky finger pulled back to the one string three fret. And I'm speaking as though the capo is the nut, so one two three instead of two three four as they actually are. So that uh, opening strum just happens from like strum down the strings from highest to lowest and kind of hit that last six string again, and then you go into the E minor. The E minor will be second finger on the five string two fret, ring finger on the four string two fret, with an open six string and open uh, three, two, and one string. Whenever you go to the D chord, you'll have an open four string, your first finger will be on the three string two fret, your ring finger will be on the two string three fret, and your second finger will be on the one string, two fret. In this first D chord, well, in the, in the first D chord of each round, I should say, so it happens lots in the song, but in the first D chord of each round, you hear that. Like, so you, you hit the open four, you strum across the D chord, and then you put your pinky finger down on the one string three fret, and then you lift your pinky finger back up to where your second finger should still be on the one string two fret, and you get that feel. And then you go to the A minor. Um, you hit the open five string for this A minor. You'll have your second finger on the four string two fret, ring finger on the three string two fret, first finger on the two string one fret, open one string, strumming from the open five string down. So down, down, up walk into a C chord by moving with your second finger to the five string two fret and then you'll move with your ring finger to the five string three fret pulling your second finger back to the four string two fret open three first finger still uh, from the A minor on the two string one fret and in this C chord uh, he puts his pinky finger down on the one string three fret then we repeat back to the E minor, up to the D, and then we go into the C chord again with your pinky finger on the one string three fret. Now in the C chord, the second C chord of the round, he does that little lick. So down, down, uh, down, down, down. The last down up, you're lifting your second finger from the four string to expose the open four string, and then you're putting your second finger back down on the four string two fret. So, and then is how the C chord ends. So. Putting those two together, oh, and what that would be would be reopening the four string, putting your second finger back down on the four string two fret, then moving your two string, uh, your two finger to the three string two fret, opening the three string, put 
putting your second finger back down to the four string two fret and then opening the four string again before moving back into the E minor. So that very slowly all comes together in that last C chord or the second C chord of each round is. repeats from there like that. Uh, so those are the chords and the movements to Letter to Madeline uh, by Ian No. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.